said he had a knack for refuse. He's the hungry ferret. Hey everybody. So today we're going to take a look at the Keurig K55 Single Serve Programmable K-Cup Pod Coffee Maker. Due to the functionality and price point, this is probably the workhorse of the Keurig line. It is also one of the more simple Keurig machines. But being simple does not limit the amount of features that this machine has. You're able to brew your own coffee with the My K-Cup, continue to use K-Cups from various companies. Again, this machine uses the classic K-Cups without the RFID. So let's take a look inside. Everything appears to be well packaged and protected for shipping. First thing in the box is the actual coffee machine itself. Next is the manual, the water filter holder, water filters, and a quick start guide. Preparing the machine for usage is simple. Prepare the filter, load the filter. Place the filter holder in the reservoir and fill the reservoir. And place the cover. To turn on the machine, hit the power button. And you just have to wait for the water to finish heating. The top panel is pretty simple. You have the five indicator lights. You also have the three sizes available. To dispense hot water is pretty simple. All you have to do is lift up the top, close it, and select the size you want. In this case, I selected small. All right, so that should give enough time to heat up the mug. Let's do a large cup this time. The mug itself is about 94 degrees. For the water temperature test, let's do a large. Let's take a temperature with the hot water in the mug. It got up to about 178, but you see the temperature stabilized around 176, 175. Let's make a cup of coffee. This time I decided to make the middle range. But up top, it's telling me I need to add more water. So once it has enough water, it starts to load the reservoir and heats up the water. And out comes the hot coffee. And let's take a temperature reading. About 174. Let's take a look at the brew. There's no grinds and the coffee appears to be clean. So let's pull out the K-cup and clean the machine. So I'm gonna run a cycle for the small cup. Just to let you know, there's some coffee residue left over from each cycle. You may want to rinse it out if you plan to make tea.
Pretty simple. All you have to do is just run the machine again. You can see the water is not totally clear. There's a little slight tint to it. So this time around, let's try the MyK cup. Now for the K55, you have the traditional K cup. It doesn't use the RFID, so you can use this style. If you want to learn more about my K cups, take a look up there in the corner. So I have the K cup filled and loaded into the main chamber. There's some coffee that came out of the container, so I'm just going to dust that off. Here you go. You can't directly put the MyK cup into the machine. You have to first remove the inner chamber. Once you remove that sleeve, you could put the MyK cup in there and close the machine. And I'm going to run another medium cycle. And this is what it looks like from the My K cup. The coffee from the My K cup is pretty clean and clear. When you compare them, the My K cup is a little darker. And due to the amount of coffee I use, it's also more richer. The K55 is not as feature rich as the K500 series. If you're looking for something very easy, simple, and fast, this is probably the machine for you. The coffee you get from this is pretty much similar to the 500 series. Overall, I was a little surprised the quality of the My K cup. The regular K cup was okay. It wasn't terrible, but at the same time, this coffee wasn't exceptional. The K55 is a huge convenience, but keep in mind, if you use the disposable cups, you're adding a lot to the landfill. That's something to consider, and in the long run, it's actually pretty expensive per cup. When you get a chance, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.